Hello all, welcome to the presentation on Hirakud Dam, the world's la longest earthen dam which stands on the sparkling waters of the Mahanadi River. It showcases a true technological wonder. Please watch the video till the end to know the exact mystery and history of Hirakud Dam. What is a dam? A dam is a barrier constructed to hold back water and raise its level forming a reservoir used to generate electricity or as a water supply. Reservoirs are created by dams not only suppress floods but also provide water for activities such as irrigation, human consumption and industrial use etc. About the Hirakud Dam the Hiraku Dam is built across the Mahanadi River in Sambalpur, Odisha. The main dam, having an overlap length of 4.8 km, spans between the hills Lakshmi Dungri on the left and Chandli Dungri on the right. Hiraku Dam is the longest earthen dam in the world, measuring 25.8 km, including dikes and stands across the river. It is the pride of Odisha and an important power source for the state. There are 98 gates to release the flood waters from Hirakud Dam, 64 are sluice, sluice gates and 34 are crest gates. There are 10 gates open at present. Two observation towers on the dam are Gandhi Minar and Jawahar Minar. The Construction History on 15th March 1946, Sir Hothron Lewis, the governor of Odisha during the time, laid the foundation stone of the Hirakud Dam. A project report was submitted to the government in June 1947. However, the dam was completed in 1953 and was formally inaugurated by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on 13th January 1957. The Tourist Attractions This human-made structure is located 15 km north of Sambalpur. Its majesty only rivals by the sparkling waters of the river it stands on with an area of 1,33,090 square kilometers the dam is more than twice the area of sri lanka the vast expanse of the dam and its surrounding waters is a sight for sore eyes scores of tourists visit the area to take in the views and the engineering marvel that is the hirakud dam the principle of a dam. The basic principle a dam follows is the principle of conservation of energy, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Rather, it can only be transformed or transferred from one form to the another. In a dam, these are the conver con con conversions. The potential energy is converted to the kinetic energy is then converted to the mechanical rotational energy, is then finally connect, converted to the electrical energy. The power system of Hirakud Dam is the powerhouse one at Bulla, a 25 km long power channel which carries the tailless water from Bulla powerhouse to Chiplima powerhouse and powerhouse 2 at Chiplima. King of the Hirakud Dam, let's see how it works. So water is stored behind the dam which is called the forebay. Now the water is stationary so it has the potential energy. So when the gates of the dam are released, the water enters the penstock from a great height. So when the water is in motion, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. When the water hits the turbine and the turbine starts to rotate, then the kinetic energy is transformed to mechanical rotational energy. After that, the mechanical rotational energy is converted to the electrical energy with the help of the generator. It's converted to the electrical energy. So what happens to the rest of the water? It just flows from the tail water and enters the afterway, which is the rest of the Let's river. Let's see a video for better clearance. 
Water enters the generating system through a series of giant intake pipes. It then travels down a steep pipe called a penstock, creating a massive column of water with a huge amount of force. At the base of the penstock, the water passes through a turbine. The giant blades rotate the drive shaft in the turbine, which is connected to a large generator. This converts the mechanical energy into electricity. The electricity travels along high voltage wires to transformers, then onto transmission towers, where it connects into the provincial power grid. After passing through the turbine, the water continues through the tail race where it rejoins the river below. Here are some advantages and disadvantages of Hirakud Dam. The advantages are its renewable and clean source of energy, it is pollution free, controls floods, and has low maintenance cost. Its disadvantages are it creates danger to flora and fauna around the region of the dam. The initial building of it is of high cost. The villages in the area of building a dam need to be vacated. Droughts can cause problems in generating electricity. So let's see the conclusion. To sum up, uh, I thought what best would be an appropriate conclusion to this presentation. Can the technological wonder the Hirakud Dam live up to its legacy? Dispute between Odisha and Chhattisgarh state government over Mahanadi River's waters at, at the heart of the dispute lies the Hirakud Dam and its reservoir. The barrages made by Chhattisgarh government is causing very little water to flow into the reservoir, hence very less electricity is being generated at the Hirakud Dam. So as the theory goes, the more the water there is, the more the electricity will be generated. The dispute remains unresolved at the Supreme Court even after central government involvement. These are some clippings collected from news articles which are regarding the issues with Mahanadi River which indirectly affect this technological wonder which we call a Hiraku Dam. Let's see some possible ways in which we can improve this. So, a temporary solution to this would be breaking down some barrages from Chhattisgarh, but a permanent solution would be planting more trees near the area of the dam so that transpiration occurs and more rainfall happens so that the water level increases and the river's flow is not uh, affected. And the trees should not only be planted near the dams, but all across the river and its tributaries. So these are some possible solutions that can be used to change the current state of Hirakud Dam. With this, I conclude. Thank you. Hope you all understood it perfectly. And... See you some other day, I guess. Bye-bye. Like, share, and subscribe so that your friends also know this uh, intelligent, no knowledge-gaining video. Okay, then. Bye-bye.